Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, this I'm not doing the trades or anything like that. So, um, this is like a review and seeing what we sh should do with the, you know, the players that's played for the Bucks. Um, we already know um, Coach Bud was fired like a week after they got eliminated, and they taking their time with trying to decide what they're going to do with their coach. So they're deciding that. So um, y'all comment down below. Like, what do y'all think um, the coach they should get? Me, uh, I'm not sure yet. At least a coach that can, like, help them work on their offense. Because it's like they – um, except for Giannis, it's like everybody else is, like, on their own and off switch. It's like you can score one night, but you can't score the next. So yeah, it's just kind of ridiculous. So it just seems like um like a review with um the players. So we're gonna talk about them. So if I just use this trade machine and cap manager um just to talk about the players that um either they free agents or they they still under contract, but they got eleven. I think it's like about either nine. I think it's like nine players that's unrestricted free agent, but they got two players that like has a player option. And we're going to talk about those players. And um, let's just get right to it. Um, Giannis had a good season, was an MVP candidate, but kind of sucks. He was like not in the um, defensive teams, like either one, but it was all NBA first team. So that's good news. And, Came in third in the MPV voting. Um, I think when well, he came in like sixth or eighth from um defensive player of the year. I think he, yeah, he came in eighth, I believe. He's six or eighth, it was one to two. But um, we already know he's gonna be staying put at least for the next two seasons, including this coming season. So, you know, as long as, like, the Bucs got Giannis, the window of opportunity to win a championship is there. They just really need to, you know, keep him happy. Like, at least um, bring in, like, if, like, if, let's just say Chris doesn't come back and Drew Holiday, you know, gets traded. They need to pair him up with an all-star, another all-star. And like a third player that, you know, that can actually, you know, help him play well. Not saying Drew Holiday or Chris Milton was like bad, but not um, but Chris Milton, you know, was injuries that happened like most of the season. So and plus with the um series against Miami. Did okay, but it wasn't like good enough. But uh, as you see, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, um, thirty-one points per game, eleven point eight rebounds a game, um, five point seven assists, like nearly six assists a game, um, nearly twelve rebounds a game, I should say. But like I say, he's I think he did it for the four straight years, being like thirty, ten, and five. I think he's. I know he's like the um, second player to ever to do it, but he's like the um, – he did it for the fourth consecutive year, I believe. So, nothing wrong with that. So, just hope he gets better on his um, free throw shooting and his three-point shooting. Like, his three-point shooting, it was like – I would say at times it was like, seemed like it was getting a little bit better, but like there's times that it just wasn't mess. So I'm guessing that it could have been a little bit up is a little bit better from last year. He's attempting more, but um, he still got to make them. So just have like a, you know, a shot doctor or like a shooting coach, like help him out. Cause I know he's still going to try to work on it regardless, but he should like get a shooting coach to help him out. 
or acts like one of the great shooters, like maybe like go to Dirk Levinsky, like they're almost the same height as like Giannis is 6'11 and Dirk Levinsky is seven feet. So you can help him with a shot. So yeah, he needs to go to somebody like a shooting doctor or shooting coach just to help him out. Now, Chris Milton. Of course, he's a little bit injury prone. It's been so for like, you know, I would say like the past five years. It's just him like always like being injured. But um, as you see his points per game, although he didn't play that much this season, um, 15 points per game, 4.2 rebounds and nearly five assists per game and normally he'd be like you know 25 and 5 so yeah it's just kind of you know frustrating that you know he's getting injured I think it's like the past 4 or five, five, six years that he's always like you know he's hurt or something's happened but like I know, like, everybody else, like, Giannis has been hurt, too, but it wasn't, you know, as bad. You know, that would be, uh, you know, take him off, like, half a year or something, like, half the season, I should say. It didn't take him off, like, that long. So, I'm just saying that um, Chris is getting a little older. As you can tell, he's 31. Um. I don't know if his age that's affecting him and he's getting all these injuries, and I don't know what it is. But um, he has a $40 million player option, and we don't know if he's going to take it or not. Um, they didn't say anything about it yet. But um, I will say um, if he tried to go in free agency and opt out, try to get more of a payday, it's not going to happen. He's not going to get more of a payday than what he is because most likely I think he's going to take that player option and take it and see what happens to him after this coming season. So it's like a make or break it for Chris Milton if they keep him. Like get back to 25 and 5 because the highest he ever got was like 20 points per game. In the playoffs, it goes a little bit higher. Like, I think the highs he had was, like, 22 or 24 points per game. Cause, yeah, because in the playoffs, yeah, he's a little bit on a different level. But this time, it wasn't that way. But my serious opinion, I say let him go and find somebody else that you can um, – for free agency that you can, like, grab and, you know, maybe sign. I would say let him go, but that's just my opinion. Um, Drew Holiday, as you see, he had like one of the best seasons of his career of uh, 19 points per game, five rebounds, seven assists. And in the playoffs, he was almost like in a double double with his assists and points. But like, Although Chris Milton is always on, but sometimes have an all switch when he plays, but Drew Holiday has an on and all switch when it comes to shooting. And like the thing is with all three, like Giannis, Chris, and Drew, they all have like a lot of turnovers. Like they don't know how to take care of the ball or get the right pass to whoever they're trying to get open. Um, is Drew Holiday's, you know, one of his best seasons of his um, career. Um, I think next season he has a player option, but not this coming season, but the next all season he has a player option. So we will see how that goes and, you know, if he leaves or keep him, but he's thinking like after his contract, 
But this is just rumors and like a lot of people just putting it out there. So I don't know if it's true, but um, I'm going, I'm thinking of like, he's thinking after his contract is over, he's going to retire. Well, um, that would be kind of like a good thing and a bad thing that because like with him, I don't know what to do. Like, will I like keep him or let him go or trade him? I don't know. Um, I would say just see what he does this coming season. Keep him if you want to trade for like another all star because he was an all star this year. So. If you want to trade them for like another all star, then do so. If not, then keep them. I don't know. Part uh, most likely, I'll say keep them. Just give him this like this coming season, just to see like how he does. If he's going to improve or decline. So, but he got work on this shooting too. He really does. Mindy, get out of there. Uh, shouting with my dogs, <laughs> it's crazy. But um, anyways, um, let's move on to Brook Lopez. Um, one of his best defensive years that he had. Um, sixteen points a game. Um, nearly seven rebounds. Um, only one point three assists per game, and I think he had like nearly two blocks a game. Or was it no nearly three blocks a game? I'm sorry. And he came in second on defensive player of the year. So a lot of everybody thinking that he should have been first, but you know, that's how the media and other people think. So who are we to judge? Um, he's a free agent. Like did his best defensive um season and a little bit better in offensive too. So he did it's like it's not his best, but he did like better when he when he's with the Bucks. Out of all of the um whole what five years that he's been with the team. So yeah, he I think it's like his best points per game numbers that he had. And maybe, you know, next season, if they, like, sign him, like, resign him, they'll, you know, he keeps this up. They do got bird rights on him, as you can tell. Um, so if they got to, if they go over the cap, they can, if they want to resign him. Although he's a free agent, but um, I think around free agency, they probably he's probably gonna be the first person they talk to in free agency. So we'll see how that goes. And must say if he does resign. Um, but this is what I'll do. I'll keep him, keep him maybe for like two more years, two more seasons. And see how he goes, because he is um aging and aging up there. He's 35. So I would say keep him for like, give him like a two-year contract. And, you know, go from there. Um, Next up, um, Jay Crowder. Um, was the dumbest thing that Coach Buzz did was not use him. Like, he had one of his highest game scoring games. Like, he had 15 points, and I think he had like, I think it was like five or six from three or something like that one game. Can't remember, but as you can see, um, seven points per game, nearly four rebounds a game, and one and a half assists per game when he was with the Bucks. Like he didn't play like the half of the season with Phoenix until he was traded. First he was traded to Brooklyn, and now he's um he was traded to the Bucks. So he's okay for his age, but um, he's good for like defensive purpose, and it's kind of sucks that they that Coach Bud did not use him. So you got this guy for like five, 
picks and you didn't use them in the playoffs. I think you only played them like one game, then the other game you played them, you only played them for like 30 seconds. Just ridiculous, like unbelievable. So um I will see if I can get Jay Crowder for the low, in my opinion. Although it seems like they got bird rights on him too. But um, so they want to pay more for him, they can. But I would say keep him because I don't want to waste some like no all those draft picks and be like, oh, um, this is so we're gonna let him go and all them picks are gone. That would be like a waste of picks. So I would say resign him. Maybe like because he was paid like 10 million um this season and maybe give him like about you know maybe like 12 or 13 million for maybe two more years and see from there. So I would say keep Jay Crowder, but that's just me. Bobby Portis, um, still young, um, had a good season, <coughs> but didn't have a good off um, playoffs. Um, his rebounds was fine, but his like um, scoring was not that great, and I think you know, like his shot. So- his shot selection, I should say, was okay in the season, but was not that good in the um, postseason. So, um, don't <coughs> excuse me. Don't know what's going on, and like, um, did you get that situated? Um, like I said, he's still young. Like I know he can probably work that out in the offseason and probably get back to where he was in the this past season, but be better in the playoffs. So hopefully that will be the case, and we'll see how that goes. So he got three years left. Uh, I don't know if one of them, like the one year is a player option. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. Pat Connaughton, he was hurt half of the season. Well, I would say, like, the beginning of the season, like, I think, like, the first three, four weeks he was – three to five weeks he was hurt. Then, you know, then came back um, 7.6 per game, 4.6 rebounds, um, 1.3 assists. Um. He was up and down too. Um, now though, yeah, he's thirty now, and it kind of sucks. Like you know, like because he also playing small for and shooting guard, but I don't know why they just have him be as a like shooting guard or backup shooting guard or something like that. But they need to keep him, you know, as a shooting guard, like small for a rise. Because the matchups he'd be guarding with some small fours are not that good. And see, he showed, you know, just only 6'5", and just doesn't help much. So, you know, they're going to keep him um, regardless. Um, I wouldn't think they was going to trade him. But I know he's, like, one of the fan favorites. So is Bobby Portis. But um, there was an article out there that I didn't I didn't read it yet, but I'm gonna check it out soon. That um, they said the Bucks need to get rid of the fan favorites just to move on to be better, or something like that. But with um, Pat Conten, um he did okay in the playoffs, but it was not the greatest. Like he played like not like he did in the NBA Finals. In 2021, he's played out of his mind. So, like, this postseason, it was okay, but it wasn't good enough. It's not one of his best. Um, 
Grayson Allen, um, he has a year left on this contract. Um, getting paid nearly nine million. Uh, ten points, ten point four points per game, three point three rebounds, and two point three assists, and got better at defense. He really did get better at defense this season. So that's a plus. And he had some of his best games, and I think it was like a game that he had, like, I think he was like six or eight from three-point shooting on one of them games. And he's still young, too. So I don't know if they're going to keep him for the um, trade deadline for this coming season or just play the whole season and see what happens. Um, I would say like maybe he can work on a little bit of his shots too, because there have been times he's been like on and off, like an on switch and off switch. But um, yeah, we'll see how they do with Grayson Allen. Joe Ingles is an unrestricted free agent, and they don't have bird rights on him, and he's thirty five. Has seven, nearly seven points a game, nearly three rebounds, and three point three assists per game. Um, you know, like for the first, maybe say like full, like first two months he was out, then came back like around like late December, instead of you know, I think it was. Wait, 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 wait! I think it was either. Early December or late November, he came back. <clears throat> in like his first game, he was a spark off the bench, and I think like the issue is is like they're not giving him like enough. I think they probably give him enough minutes, but I think because he's Asian, 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 I can't even say it right. Age in. You know, like is he's aging. Like he's 35. So hopefully y'all get that while I'm trying to say. But um he has some high games and he has some low games. Um in the playoffs, um it wasn't that good either. But um the Bucks did sign him this off past off season off the, the um Veterans, um, the exception, the, you know, the was it mid level exception or something like that? I forgot what it was called, but they used that um, six million that they had that they can sign somebody on him. And I guess he's like he's expecting like 7.7 .7 million next season if he re signs with the Bucks. So in my opinion, I don't know if they should keep him or let him go. But he is, like, up in age. Like, there's days that it doesn't show, but there's days that it does. But um, if they do keep him, um, have him, you know, work on his game. Like the passing game and stuff, he was doing. He was giving up some um, turnovers too. No, hopefully you know some of that change, and then it's all season and you know work on his game and probably work more on the shooting because you know in that age you should be like a very good shooter. But I guess that's just me. But only time will tell. Mahjong Bullchamp. Um, he had, of course, he's a rookie and um, have some upbringing and meaning like he has some good games, but it's like you had a coach that doesn't develop your young players like your rookies or anything like that. Which, like, this time, it was other coaches that was developing him. 
which was good. And you see, like, some good in him that he can be that good. So, you know, if, you know, they decide, you know, apart from Chris Middleton, he can probably can be that starting small for it. And I know he's probably going to need some work, but hopefully, like, this offseason, you know, he works out um, – maybe gain like six pounds or something like that, um, a muscle. And, you know, he can probably be that starting small for if Milton don't go, come back and probably can do some damage. Um, five points per game, um, 2.2 rebounds a game, and nearly one assist per game. Um, oh, I thought they – I thought they only got him for two years, but it's four years. He's getting paid like a little bit by a little bit. So next year he's getting two point six million. No, that'd be good for him. And it just I think it will all work out for him. Just like give him a little bit of time. And I think that he's gonna do great. That's what I think. Um, let's move on to Javon Carter. Um, he has a player option. Don't know if he's going to accept it. Um, eight points per game, two and a half rebounds per game, and 2.4 assists per game. Um, the thing with him is like he has some good games too. Like when they play against Charlotte. Oh no, it was Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm sorry. It was Oklahoma City Thunder. He had like like 32 or 31 points. And he had that weirdest of interviews that I ever seen. Um like he's a good backup point guard, but <coughs> excuse me. I think in my opinion that he needs to pass more. Like more assists, like because it seems like he's a shoot first point guard. Needs to be a little bit of a pass first point guard at times. Something that you know he needs to work on. But um, there's some games he's been on and off too. Like, like he's just got like an um on and off switch too. Playoffs were. He was playing in some playoff games, a few of them, then wasn't playing the rest because he wasn't doing that well. So I'll see what he does if he decides to um, stay. But um, maybe he thinks that he can get more from what he's proven than what he can do. But – um. It's like his, you know, second season. It was like his second, like his first full season, I should say, with the Bucks after they got him the um the trade deadline, not this past season, but the season before. Um, hopefully he stays. Go one more year and see what he does in, as a development. So yeah, he I know he needs some work too, but we'll see how it goes. Myers Leonard. Um, of course he's a free agent and they don't have no bird rights on him because he only signed with them for like half a season. Um seven footer, like a good backup center that they needed. Um he's 31. And Maybe expected to get like um nearly two million this off season after all the um other no all the other stuff that he went through um before Miami had released him. But um he showed some um promising things. Like it was just that defensive stance that they Coach Bud was doing, like he was Brooke Lopez, but He's a – like, he can shoot and all that, but I think he just didn't have enough time to, you know, score and stuff like that. So, 
for the games he's been in with the Bucks, he only scored nearly five points per game, nearly four rebounds a game, and 0.1 assists per game. But, yeah, um, I will understand if they don't keep him. But at least I will keep him to have that backup center since you didn't use Serge Ibaka that much. And it's just a bummer that they didn't use Serge Ibaka, although how good of a player he was. So I hope they, you know, use him this coming season and, well, sign him and go from there. Wesley Matthews. Um, yeah, he's getting up there in the age, and they do have bird rights on him, and he's a free agent. So if they sign him more than, you know, than what he's getting, they can match that. Um, 3.4 points per game, 2.2 rebounds, and nearly one assist per game. Um, he's there for the team for defensive purpose, and – he was like the only person in the postseason that did good on Jimmy Butler. And I'm surprised they didn't keep him on him. So that's one of the mistakes that, you know, Coach Bud did was not, you know, using him to keep guarding Jimmy Butler. And there's some times he just haven't been like playing that much, like, like, they just couldn't fit him in the lineup at times. But typical Coach Bud doesn't know when to put in the right people in the right time. Um, I would say sign him for one more year and go from there. That's what I say, just keep him for one more year. Um, Gordon Dragic, um, they don't have bird rights on him. He is a free agent. Um, 6.3 rebounds a game. That's the total combined what he was playing in Chicago and playing with the um, Bucks. although he didn't play that much for the Bucks, which I don't get why. Because I know he's up there to age, but still. I think, yeah, he's like the oldest on the um, team. But it's, it's one of those things like with him, I don't know. I don't know if they should keep him or let him go. I don't know what what they will should what they should do. That I don't know. It's like one of those guys I like got a question mark in it. And it's like one of those things like if they keep him, good. If they don't, then good. But um yeah, um just leave it with that. Tenacious at the of course, he's a free agent. Um, they do got bird rights on him, so. And, you know, he's going to want to stay, play with his brother, so he's probably going to take, you know, like the, maybe what they pay him, $1.8 million or like $2 million or something like that. So, of course, they're going to keep him, although 1.4 points per game, 1.2 rebounds a game, 0. 0.4 assists. I don't get at times that why he's not, you know, starting at the small four. Like, I know he's a little bit better shooter than his brother, than Giannis. But um, keeps the team motivated and keeps it up, um, although he's 30. But we saw some of his full potential in some of the games he played, you know, when, you know, at times when Giannis was out. The season before, but I don't know why they just put him on the um scoring, you know, in their you know 10 man rotation. So I know they're gonna keep him, sign him before the low, and go from there. Um, AJ Green, oh wow, he's a free agent, didn't know that, but um. Had good showing on some of the games that he played this season, but couldn't play in the playoffs because of the two-way. So, um, 
4.4 points per game, 1.3 rebounds per game, 0.6 assists per game. Um, he's going to develop. He really is going to develop. And I think he's going to work on on the off season. It's just like I did like a video on him. I think he was going to. He's a great three point shooter, and I think he won't. You know, disappoint if they you know decide to keep him. But um, yeah, I think they should. Uh, these freaking pop ups. But um, they should keep AJ Green. Um. Give him like a benefit of a doubt, and like he's a good shooter and is improving. Just they should, you know, at least keep him. Um, Lindale Wigginton. Um, I think he's still got a year left on his two way. They say it looked like he got a year left on his um two way. Um, contract, but others say he's a free agent, so I don't know what it is. Um, 7.1 points a game, one rebound a game, and two assists. He was killing it in the um G League for the Wisconsin Herd, although you know the Wisconsin Herd didn't make it to the playoffs. So it's like what they should do, like keep him as a two way contract or just sign him as a player. Um, this one, I'm kind of stuck on this one because I really don't know. I really don't know if they should, you know, keep them, let them go, or just send them back to the G League. I don't know. But he shows signs of improvement, especially when he was with them. I think he was with them last season and played in had some good games. But um yeah, I really don't know. Um if they keep them good, if they don't, then what more can you do? So yeah, and you see you see that I got some players that I'm question mark about and some of them is like either you keep them or no. Or it's really ain't that big of a difference to me. But um, that's it for the players in review. And right now, like without some of them free agents assigned, the roster cap is right now like nearly 160 million. There are 23 million. I think they over the cash space, but they. Nearly four million under the tax. So um, I don't know if they want to save or they want to run it back or they want to try to upgrade some players, like get some players that's maybe better. Who knows? But um, that's it for me. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, Art from the Heart. Check them out on Facebook. Moving Dudes, check them out on Facebook too. Also, I'm um, giving them a call if you're in Wisconsin, moving within Wisconsin. Call Sean, 414 807 4299. Again, the 414 807 4259. So, like this video, give it a like, please. Um, over 300 subscribers, we're trying to get more. So, hopefully, that will grow. And <clears throat> Check out our past videos and stuff like that. A um, couple of program announcements. Um, we're going to be doing a lot um, next week with, you know, because there's about three pay-per-views. Well, four in three days that's going to happen. You got Impact Wrestling's Under Siege on a Friday. You got... Saturday, you got WWE United Champions, but it's going to be on during the day. And Sunday, you have two pay-per-views, um, NXT background, um, Battleground, I'm sorry, 
and you got uh sorry, you got AEW's Double or Nothing pay per view. So yeah, lots going on. So hopefully, if I remember, I can do like all those videos like on WFSL preview and throw my predictions out there. And you know, we'll see if I'm right or not. So there will be no aftermath this Sunday because of you know the pay per views going on, and you know um, A and W's pay per view are long. So just gotta watch out for that. So hopefully it will be on Monday, like you know right after Raw. So hopefully we will do that. Um. And I know I was telling y'all about um, WFSO exclusive um, being moved to mid June. Um, the official date will be announced like next week, and like I said, hopefully by the time you know I, you know, just you know get started on that, we'll have like a lot of footage from a lot of places that I'm going to, and. Hopefully, you know, get more footage for you guys to watch. Um, you know, some matches and stuff. We only do it once a week and just go from there. So, um, without further ado, please subscribe and um yeah, have a good day, good night, whatever time y'all watching it. Um, probably by the time y'all watching it, it'll be Saturday, May 20th. Or maybe May 19th, or it depends on how, how it goes. But um seems like I had a little time to you know put it up there tonight. So we'll see how this goes. But until the next video, y'all have a good one. Go butts go and see you later.